Hello world and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program Mod Spotlight. Today is this little one, that's right, it's a single part, well technically two parts, it's two parts and a plug-in. That's cool, it's the animated cargo bay, and that is by da 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 Echo 8 Era E R A Echo Echo 8 on the Kerbal Space Program forums there'll be a link to the mod in the description. <clears throat> it is out for 0 0.16. It works in 0 0.17 just fine, as far as I can tell so far. There's a slight graphical graphical glitch if you uh, if you load into the world with the vehicle already there, but it's it's literally just as simple as opening and closing the doors again to fix it. But uh, that's what it is. It's an animated cargo boy. So let's get to it. I'll show you the parts, and then I'll show you a couple of vehicles. First of all, let's just grab nope sorry that one that one why did I go to the it works in the VAB too for if you're gonna make a space shuttle but we'll come over here just for the moment the first part you get is the fuselage mark 3 cargo bay floor static a static non-opening floor of course it's and oh you got this thing covered in nodes cool huh you attach to the bottom node there on the end and you've got a little bottom of your ship. Now, this is uh, used with permission by C7 of course, but the design of course originally is the C7 flight pack piece here. So we'll put this on the end here just for comparison. We'll move back slightly. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And what have we got? Ah, here we go. And here's the roof bay doors. It's one big unit and it clunks onto this middle this middle node here. Cool, huh? And it doesn't match exactly, but then you wouldn't expect it to, as this has kind of got a uh, funny texture on it, and this is more of a hard edge. But once you've got a vehicle built around it, it looks absolutely fine, and actually, it actually looks better with this cockpit than the stock fuel tanky fake bit here. And you activate it with Z in the world. You hit the Z key and it swings open and on each end you've got as you saw you had an extra node so you can attach uh, what are they? decouplers so you know awesome you could have an object decoupled on each side or yeah of course it's easier to build it and then put the door on but yeah you build what you want inside awesome I don't have a space shot ready to go because um, well I'm not very good at making space shuttles actually work and get into space. But I built a couple of planes, so we're just gonna just uh, gonna demonstrate these real quick. Oh yeah, I like a good plane. Bill Jeb and Bob. I got no other mod installed at all except for this. It's as I said, it's a plugin. It's available in the plugin forums. There are, as far as I know, there are only two opening and closing cargo bays. And well, of this type, there is a third one, and I shall be showing that eventually. And it is uh, the other one's in the Tiberdyne shuttle pack, but that operates on the gear key, which uh, makes this is you know it's why I use this one. The other one has some advantages. This has some advantages. Let's hit that Z key. And take a look at that opening. And there it is. Oh, oh, better put the brakes on. If the brake key ever works properly, it never does. Oh, I had it then. There it is. But as you can see, cargo bay opens, and you've got your uh, you've got your um, doors open. Aha! On the Z key, of course. Oh, and I've got the brakes on. Shit! Cut the engine. <laughs> Those are good brakes. Yeah. Uh, my only. Uh, my only concern with this is with the uh, Z key there, it's next to the X key and while you wouldn't necessarily be deploying anything while you're uh, while you're full throttling I hope you never know you never know you know, I wanna, might want to open the bay now and uh, you never know maybe you're making an upside down bomber or something crazy. But yeah, it's a cool cargo bay. I intend on using it in campaign mode. 
we are actually going to get into space shuttles and space planes this time. And another cool feature of this mod is it's got quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of oh what is the word I'm using for customizability ability abilities. Let's uh, just uh, get rid of this plane <laughs> and go back to the. Uh, hangar and show you the second plane, not the tracking station, sir, not the tracking... whatever, It'll, it's fine, it's fine. Now we're off to here and load plane number two. You don't have to just make the one cargo bay. You can stack them like this and they all work together. Awesome. If I can pick them up, as you can see... oh no, I picked up the engine. Ugh. Okay, um, control Z. There we go, control Z fixes everything. But as you can see, I've got three cargo bays on here. The reason these fuel tanks are up in the front here is actually weight. This thing uh, doesn't fly unless it's got that weight in there, but uh, that's because it's a silly design. Kind of looks like one of them, uh, one of them big old bombers. There's big wings. But yeah, so, you know, you could use it to carry large, uh, large payloads and stuff to various things. Um, I've actually got a kind of a project I need to fine-tune it nearly works where I have a plane that goes up with kerbals just stood in the back of here. The idea being that I can film the moment that zero G happens. So they'll, they'll just be stood there and then they'll suddenly just start floating. Supposedly. So, uh, yeah. Still working on that a little bit. Having trouble with some torque and some engines exploding. Mm. But it nearly goes suborbital, what the parts do when they explode. This, however, unlike its uh, smaller friend, flies a little better. A little better. It also has a ton of wheels. Look at all these wheels under it. Come on, girl, get up in the air. Big old canards as well. Big old wings. Quite pleased with how these wings came out. I had to put the extra two wheels under the tail there because it used to drag the tail along the runway. See, cargo bay door opens, and it all opens as one unit, which is really pretty cool. And, you know, it's only three things. It's two parts and a plug-in. So there's no, real, there's no real drag on your system from having tons of parts. Well, even if you already have several parts, you know, several mods and all sorts installed. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> really, it's quite simple. It's doors that open. You know, make space shuttles deliver payloads. Man, I love this plane. Oh, wow. That's interesting. The connection is of ever so, sl ever so slightly rubbery. Well, I'm glad it can clip through rather than explode. That's handy. Delivering payload. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, 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 shit. Yeah, can you fly upside down? Yeah, oh good lord. Fuck it, fuck it, okay. Uh, here we are, and that is it for this episode. I shall catch you next time. Have a lovely day. Goodbye! This doesn't want to crash. Keeps going a little lower back up. No hands on the controls whatsoever. We're just going to keep going until we run out of fuel. Oh, I think we are getting... yes, we are getting lower. And lower. And lower. Ooh. Man, this would be brilliant if there were cockpit view for this version. <laughs> okay, I'm just... Ooh. Oh! Did they survive? Yes, they survived! Wait, where did the little kerbals go in the corner? Where did my little kerbals go?